decision Give last night. Okay. Yet, he did something that, that he did at Indiana when they were down 18, talking about from Dorchester. He took two of those at Indiana and made them, then he missed his third one. But this is like a new wrinkle for LeBron that he is jacking up threes, and they're not jump shots, they're set right. shot yeah. threes from 10 to 12 feet beyond the three-point line. <laughs> it's Steph Curry land, right? <laughs> yes. And I, I've never seen him take them this far out, and it smacked to me at Indiana when he started taking them of, I've given up. I don't care. I'm just going to throw these up there because this is sad. You know, like I don't even want to be associated with this. And when he shot the one last night down 18, he shot that one with yeah, with with conviction, but also like uh, it looks like it's going to happen again. So I'm just going to try this one. And I'm sure his teammates are thinking, what what are you doing? And that one went in. Yes. And it started the 16 to seven run that got them within nine at halftime. Then what happened in the third quarter? Kyle Kuzma happened. Very interesting that Luke went last night, all veterans. He's leaning on veteran, veteran, veteran. If you look at your box score, the veterans all came to play because they were not bothered by the trade deadline at all because they weren't really involved in all of the conjecture, right, Right. and all the speculation. So Lance had a big run in the first half. He did. He played unbelievable. Unbelievable. KCP played unbelievable. Obviously, we're going to get to Rondo and LeBron. And all the bigs, JaVale had big moments in that game, right? He played big in that game. But the one kid who rose and shone in the third quarter was Kyle Kuzma. And I can make the case that Kyle Kuzma saved the Lakers season in the third quarter. He made four threes, and they made nine threes just in the third quarter and Mm -hmm. scored 42 points. The most any team, there have been several teams that made 10 in a quarter this year. Golden State has made 10, but the Lakers made nine. Right. And I thought that was a good sign, like they're capable of catching that much fire, mm-hmm. but it was because of Kyle Kuzma. Yep. And is it possible that LeBron went into the postgame locker room thinking, man, I'm kind of glad we didn't trade Kyle Kuzma. I don't know. No, me ain't no, going to the locker room. You don't no. think so? Mm-hmm. I, I think he might have thought that. No, I ain't think that. And, and Kyle Kuzma was the one kid who was not distracted by all the trade deadline speculation. Yo, he, he was on third. He was I, the I know, other but, night. but it didn't seem like that one. It looked like he just shook it off and said, Heck with it, I'm just going to let it fly. Mm -hmm. So what happened down the stretch? A lot of crazy stuff happened. LeBron did make a big three. KCP made an even bigger three. Remember, they're down six with 124 left. Yes. And KCP made one from the corner with a hand right in his face. I was like, what? And it went in. And then LeBron made one, and all of a sudden, it's a tie game. And I thought, "Uh uh-oh, they've been doubling Kyrie. They better double him again. And they tried to get the ball out of his hands, and you can't get the ball out of his hands. And all of a sudden, it's another swoop and another scoop up off the glass, and bingo. You're down one. Skip, when he gets it in his mind, he says, I'm going to the rack. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. And he's got that sweet little he got whipped so much cream. Yeah, got English, English. He's got it up, goes way up high. And, and that was over Tyson Chandler. I don't know how he does it. Oh, man. it's over like three guys because yeah, here yeah. come Ingram well, and here come well, Kuzma's got okay. it. All right. So now we get to the pivotal moment in the basketball game. There's no timeouts left, I think, for the Lakers because they, they didn't even think about it. I'm pretty sure they were out of timeouts. Yes, they were. So Rondo goes and grabs the basketball, and he's going to inbound it. And... It shocked me that LeBron did not demand the basketball. What Marcus the, Morris was face, there. Yes. Okay. But if I'm the king, if I'm the best player on the planet, I just muscle right past Marcus and I say, give me the ball and get out of my way because the clock is ticking. And instead, Rondo looked to LeBron like, do you want this? And, and LeBron just sort of quit fighting with Marcus. And Brandon Ingram was just standing there all alone. He said, okay, you take it. And then Brandon Ingram doesn't even look to LeBron. He just starts dribbling the ball up the court. He should. Is it possible that Brandon Ingram was basically saying to LeBron, you didn't want us, so I don't need you. No. I'm going to go do this by myself. No, he That's wasn't. what I thought. That's my takeaway, and I think I'm probably right about that. No. So here goes Brandon Ingram, and he's dribbling, he's dribbling, and I'm thinking, who's going to close this deal? Who's going to take the last shot? And to his credit, Brandon Ingram is not afraid of the moment. Right. So he just says, I'm... I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. And he basically goes sea to shining sea. He goes all the way up the court and says, I'm going. And he goes up and under. And Al Horford, who's a high IQ defender, obviously. He's a he very good defender. Play. And he makes what looks like the play of the game. And the ball is free for a moment. And what did Al Horford not do? He didn't go fight for the rebound. 
I think he thought that the clock was down to one or two, and all he needed to do is just tip it back into the lane, and, and there's a lot of green around, and but it's going to be over. Still, we see that a lot, lady, a lot, a lot, mm -hmm. lady, a lot lately with big guys yep. not grabbing it, mm -hmm. tipping it out. Okay. Tyson Chandler does that an awful okay. lot. That's what big guys do now, and it really okay. cost them. So then it comes to this, and we'll see it one more time in just Woo! a second. But Marcus Morris, who was all over LeBron on this last possession, LeBron just stayed out at the top of the circle. He didn't even get involved in this play. But Marcus Morris had made a huge three to put them up six with 124 to go. Yeah. And Marcus Morris has a shot at this basketball and does not go hard for it. He's tougher than this. Tell me he doesn't have a shot right there. Yeah. Was that not? Yeah, Is that not to, his basketball? He tried to get he worried about O'Bron. Okay. No, it's the classic 50-50 ball. Marcus Morris, you gotta you gotta come up with the play. It's it's your ball. And Tyson Chandler snaked a hand in there and got a hand on it and tipped it. And as Brad Stevens said after the game, the basketball gods favored them because they deserved it. Because they were fighting harder for the 50-50 balls, right? Yes. And then little Rondo. The point guard who cannot shoot because he he for for his Boston years he couldn't shoot a lick. He turned himself into okay. a better shooter a than what he was. Good yeah, shooter yeah. because would you believe Rondo shooting forty two percent from three this year and he's a career thirty one percent three point shooter. Mm -hmm. And in Boston they just pe people just said just, just go ahead. Yes, and and it was so ironic that little Rondo. Yeah. At what's still Boston Garden sure. to me. I know they call it something else, yeah. but it's still Boston Garden, and he calls it home. He TD says, when I walked in. TD Bank. Yeah, yeah, it's TD Bank. But but again, to me, it's Boston, Boston Garden. Garden. Yes. And Rondo said before the game, when I walk in here, I'm home. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, I wonder how that makes the people at Staples home. feel. I don't know, but yeah, new home. But the point is, not only did he go get the basketball, but he went up and shot it like he meant it. Yes. He shot it like it. he thought it was going to go in. And then he starts backpedaling like, like I, I got this, yes. I got this, yes. I got this. Well, Skip, people, you re no. Nothing but net. Skip, you remember in that uh, yeah. uh, Celtics, in the Celtics heat, mm. he had a game in which he had 44 mm. points mm. and like, what, 11, 12 assists. Mm -hmm. He could put the ball in the basket. He's a... He's turned himself, like you mentioned, early in his career, you just played off him. Now, you're not getting to the rim. Well, I'm not going to let you mm. get to the rim to dish to KG or Ray yep. Allen for a three or, uh, uh, or KG for a dunk. Yep. We're just going to sag off you, and if you make it, you, we're going to let you make enough of them mm. before we start to push up on okay. you. But he's turned Different himself. now. And you know what? Step I, back. I, I got to believe that is nothing but pure elbow grease, like hard work. Yes. You don't think he's been in the gym for hours yes. and hours yes. and hours mm -hmm. as he sees sort of the light at the end of his career tunnel? Right. Like, yeah. hey, I'm going to figure this out. I want to keep doing this for a long time. And you know what, Skip? There's always going to be a place for a guy like that because he has a high IQ. Um, he can get everybody else involved. He can score. He can score mm -hmm. enough. Yep. He's not James Harden, you know, scoring 30 points a game. You don't mm. need him to do that. Mm. But he is a high assist guy. Mm. He had 10. LeBron had a 12. Uh, Brandon Ingram had seven. Mm. Those were the lion's share. The ball was moving last oh. night. Hot well, potato. Look and good. I look, and O'Bron, oh, oh, O'Bron. Mm. He just skipped. Mm. He ain't back yet. He mm. said he's still like 80, 85%. Mm. Man, what happened when that thing, you know, he, mm. so right now he's three quarters full. Mm. What happened when that needle going over there to fool? Hell. Mm. He looks full to me. No, it ain't uh, full yet. Yeah, yeah, no, full. he ain't. Well, he, he is not. He was moving and grooving. No, he wasn't right. moving like he's mm. supposed to. Oh, that red red, red train mm. still coming. But here's the thing that a whole lot of people are not talking about. Brandon Ingram, for three and a half quarters, mm -hmm. did a marvelous job on Kyrie. His length it, it bothered was, Kyrie. I don't, I don't know. They doubled him a lot, too. They but, just doubled the ball out of his hands. But, Skip, he's so long. I mean, you're talking about a guy that has a, a seven-and-a-half-foot wingspan. Yep. And so Kyrie, you know, but once Kyrie got it going, Kyrie says, okay. But you see what they did, Skip? Mm -hmm. They started putting him in the pick and roll, and so mm -hmm. now we get into Kuzma. Mm -hmm. Kuzma's not nearly the defender. He doesn't move laterally as well as Ingram. Yep. He's not as long as Ingram. Yep. So Kyrie started getting by him. And then when he sagged off him, mm. Kyrie would put Rays up mm. over him and shoot it. Yep. And LeBron like, uh-uh, push mm. to him. Mm. Get out on him. Mm. Put LeBron James. Yeah, but you know what LeBron was thinking? You know what LeBron was thinking with 11 seconds left? Kyrie did it to him again. And LeBron was thinking, man, I miss Kyrie. He done what up I miss Kyrie. No, he no, didn't. closer. Did you remember what happened? I need a closer. Opening, opening day last yeah. year in Cleveland. Uh. He did it to Kyrie. Uh. He came to Kyrie house again no. and did it to Kyrie. No. And all, when LeBron on that court skip, all you see is this right here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Who's <laughs> yeah. moving in the corner? Yeah. Caldwell Pope. But <laughs> you don't see this. 
Close the deal. What close? Because, LeBron because James, can you believe on the last play of the game, a pivotal game, maybe a turning point game, LeBron never touched the basketball? That's okay. That's okay. Oh, that's, interesting. That's, that's okay. Interesting. That's I thought okay. he was the best player and on the planet. And guess what? Did you, know, did you know this, Jenny? Hmm. Tell me. On the drive that really iced the game, yes. Tom Brady didn't throw a pass. Nine straight runs. So it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Did I get the dub Wait or did second. I take the L? Wait a second. Who completed four straight passes to win the game? No, no, no. We, that we was, don't that do. Was wait, 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 wait. We don't do icing over here. Yeah. We do win the no, game. No, 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 no. We do game winning drive. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I, I want to see LeBron take the last shot. No, 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 no. Come no, no, on. I, no, hey. I, I thought if you're that hey. guy, you take that hey. shot in that building. Hey, hey. Come on. No, you don't. Just go demand no, the no, basketball. No, you don't. Say, give it to me and get Guess out of the way. I saw James Harden to demand the ball twice last year in that very building. And what did he get, Skip? Don't compare James Harden to LeBron James. Skip, come on. This is LeBron. There ain't no sense in pushing uh, off and getting a so, little ticky tack so foul. Are, are you telling me that Marcus Morris can shut down LeBron James? Because that's what happened on the last play. He took him out of the game. Oh, one play? Well, uh, that was the play. 28, yeah. 12, and 12. Okay, but it's. I want to know who's the closer. Did you remember what he did to Marcus Morris last year? Who is the closer? Last night, the leprechaun was on the Lakers' shoulder. Ryan, right? Right? no, you Maybe Ryan the leprechaun don't. said, I'm going to close it. The we, we, there's no such thing. And by the way, the you, know was, moving. you know who was sitting on the baseline with his lady friend watching from the baseline? Coach Belichick. Brian and, tapped him and, up. And Marcus Morris did not do his job on the last play. Uh, the, did he not do his job? LeBron, LeBron, no, LeBron went over to the job. coach Belichick, dapped him up, and go, oh. go to go. Goat. He go, go to, to go. He go to go. Go to go. Really? Go to go. Well. Fogo. No, 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 that's Skip. No, actually, Fogo to Fogo. No, 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 that's Skip. The Lakers didn't need Anthony Davis last night. Yeah, we But will they need him this summer? We'll discuss all that next. And don't forget, you can listen to us every day on the Fox Sports Channel on Sirius XM. We'll be right back.